Hey all you guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all good, having a blessed day. 17 past midnight here. See what wants to come out, present energy. If this does resonate, like, share and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. It feels like the key focus is finance right now. There's a lot of money to be made. Something's become clear to you in the recent past. It feels like a lot of realizations, making the unconscious conscious. Something's been balanced out, balanced out, finding your feet, being able to ground yourself through certain life changes. It feels like you've cultivated a lot of strength, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom strong sense of self you're able to focus on what you're creating now without worrying about how things are going to go it feels like a very strong confidence trust in yourself you know what you're doing you like what you're doing that maya angelou quotes coming through you like what you do in the way that you do it it's like you can't be told anything right now in terms of your own standards There's an opportunity to travel, to take something worldwide or expand something. It may mean setting up businesses in other countries. It may mean collaborating with people from around the world, all over the planet. There's something here, it's like something's about to be bigger than you had expected. It feels like this is something you had planned towards, but these opportunities are coming in now. This feels like something you would plan to, like an end goal kind of thing. And this end goal that maybe you would have expected to come in in years time. Some opportunity is ready now. Some of you feels like retirement. Planning to retire in so many years, so many months, so many decades, whatever it is. But something is happening now. Although it's happening now, it's not happening in the way that maybe you had planned. What's coming through is that thing of how people think that they want to retire at a certain age to realise that we never really retire in this life. It's like we're always doing something. How do you want to spend your time? What do you want to invest in? Maybe that is relaxation, but there's going to be something. It's like, what do you want your focus to be? It feels like you're getting to a point where your time's your own, freedom of time. It does feel like some kind of passive income. So it's like you can choose what you want to do, but it feels like maybe you set out to be able to rest, to retire in that way of coming to a standstill. But it feels like this is changing now. It feels like actually by you being able to retire, by you being able to get by your time back in some way, that you're actually going to voluntarily, willingly want to do more than maybe you did before you retired because it's it's not expected it's your own flow something you're creating here is about to take off rapidly it may mean traveling you've come a long way you may be worried if you can handle this emotionally if you're strong enough emotionally to handle jumping into this new adventure. Nine of Cups as I split the deck, dream come true. You know more than you realize, you're more ready than you think, trust yourself. Your soul knows what to do, 22 past midnight. Follow the feeling. This is you. This may be something that you've done or a gift, a talent, a skill. Maybe something you've cultivated through many lifetimes. Maybe just something that it, it's just your gift. This is like, even if you hadn't studied or even if you hadn't learned something, it's like it comes from within. Somebody could study to learn how to do what is naturally 
yours, like what feels natural to you. They can study to do that. But it's like, this is your essence. There's a difference between being book smart and really knowing something just being second nature. Intuition, follow your first instincts on how to move forward, top of the mountain. Hierophant. Yeah, it's no accident. It's like this is something you're setting out to do. It feels like it's taking a lot of discipline, commitment to yourself, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. It feels like a lot of obstacles having to having to face things about yourself that are difficult to face. It's like really looking at yourself, taking accountability, responsibility for your life, for your situation, for what's around you. But by doing so, it's like you're creating something beautiful here. Be open to opportunity. Be open to invitations when it comes to traveling or to or networking. People and places and things are coming in to boost you and also to trigger you. Both of them, although are happening in a contrasting way both of them are revealing to you truths about yourself some things are highlighting to you where you're self-sabotaging or where you're accepting some kind of disrespect you could be seeing 24 24 a lot in other areas it's like showing you how far you've come how far you've transformed both of these situations whether it's something making you feel away or something making you feel great is all coming back to that thing of you owning your own feelings your own emotion it, it feels like you can't be offended it's all education and this is a place you needed to get into to learn from yourself, to observe yourself in a way where it's not like harsh and critical, but it's curious. Clarify, please. Someone could have cut off communication with you in a drastic way. This could have been in some kind of like a ghosting kind of situation. Somebody that you was connected to, something like a codependent kind of energy. It feels like losing half of yourself. This could have put you in a bad headspace. Somebody wasn't clear with their communication. Or it's like saying one thing, doing another. It does feel like a very addictive energy. We've got the devil showing up here. You could have really lost yourself in a situation, a relationship. There's a lot of emotional turmoil. I'm hearing someone argue. It's like echoing of arguing. But it's like fighting, fighting to make something work, fighting to keep something going, fighting to hang on. Being so in love with the thing that is pushing you out of that place of love. It feels like a battle. Something that has come to an end now. The storm has passed. I'm seeing someone like literally on a boat floating out to sea. And there's been this storm at sea. And it's like with everyone, with all their people in different boats and then... As the storm passes, they've realised that everybody's gone and they're just by themselves on that calm water. It's like there's no closure, there's no confirmation if your friends that got caught in the storm or this person that was part of this whirlwind in your life, what they're doing, where they've gone, it's like that something's just vanished. Now I'm seeing a child holding like a blanket with a teddy bear, just feel it looking really upset, looking into the distance. It feels like neglect, abandonment. Where did this person go? Like a child that's maybe lost their parents 
there's may there's a relationship here for some of you this is love this feels like a long-term relationship this may not have ended recently but this is it feels like this is deep wound this is recycling a feeling that you've had from childhood maybe from some kind of abandonment it feels like it's it cut off your breath If it, it's like a feeling of grief. Interesting, I need to look into this. I split the deck, the sun. There's something better here for you. It's, it feels like that thing of emperor. Eight of Wands, the Sun Emperor. It feels like it's been hard, it's been testing, that you've really been kicked to the curb in some way. You may not be able to fully appreciate or celebrate your progress, your success. The opportunities that are coming in, the opportunities that are around you right now. Because of the amount of hurt that's come from this situation. Have the strength to follow the happy even if it doesn't feel good. If I'm seeing someone in the boat again, it's like, what are you going to do now you're in that calm water, everyone's gone, you're going to turn back and go through the storm. Or are you going to continue ahead? Are you going to go back for another cycle, another round? fighting to chase or find or keep or change someone that doesn't maybe, that like it's not naturally there, like it's, it doesn't feel organic, it feels like a fight, it feels like a battle, it feels like trying to, ha trying to convince someone of your worth. We've got the Emperor and the Sun, we've got the Star, the Hierophant, it's like you've been shown your worth ten times over here. It does still feel like there's some sadness about moving on, regardless of how much success, luxury, love, joy, bliss is in your life because of whatever this thing was. It does feel like maybe it was something that was around for a long time, a situation that... Or it's like you feel deceived by this energy. Doing things to open your heart would be great. Yeah, Queen of cups because it's like there's so many blessings here and there's beautiful new energies coming in and it's like you don't want to judge these opportunities people and places and things coming in as untrustworthy as a form of protection protection because of being burnt in the past it's like you it feels like you know exactly why you might react a certain way you could even laugh at this it's like you know your own tendencies you know the way that you can react to things the way you can maybe be defensive or not be as open be as soft or be as I want to say welcoming as you could be. It's at no time for nonsense, focused on money, focused on growing, whatever this is, has been necessary for that to be the case. But it's like, don't cut off your nose to spite your face, free, free, past. Don't be creating obstacles for yourself. That thing you go looking for a problem, you'll find a problem. It's time to... move on from that um to move on from that it feels like something you're ready for emotionally to let your guard down it's just a fact of actually doing so
something's coming through about you could use the fact the excuse that you have to work or that you have more things to be doing that there's something important for you to be doing why you can't do what you feel called to do empress in reverse eight of pentacles six of wands in reverse it's like You could be invited somewhere to do something fun or cute, whatever. And it's like, no, no one's got time for that, that kind of energy. Yeah, warrior mode. It's like no time for frivolous activities. But it's like, how do you not know that you're being asked to go to this frivolous activity because... It's actually the path to something you desire. Or like you might go somewhere and meet a certain person. Like how things, it's like trust. You don't know any everything, you don't know anything. And actually, the more you follow the feeling, like the physical follows the energy. It's like maybe you're doing everything right but are you satisfied? Are you in your heart space? Are you in your own vibration? Are you feeling good? Are you connected? It feels like you're being asked to, it's like there's a time for everything. Yeah, there's a time to make things happen. But it's like you're being asked to let things happen for you to take your hands off the reins for a minute yeah the sun it's like stop trying to ruin your own surprises by trying to control things or orchestrate each outcome or overthink whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing maybe this is coming from programming childhood programming of What I'm seeing is someone sitting in a library and studying for like hours and hours and hours, like day turn to night. It's like, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, you're learning everything you need to learn. You're putting in the work. But are you celebrating yourself and congratulating yourself for grinding yourself into a pulp? Grinding yourself to a pulp? Is that the saying? But it's like, are you okay though? It's like there's a way to take action where you can be feeling good too. Maybe take a minute to reset. There's definitely something coming through. And again, it's not always the case. But right now, there's something coming through about quality over quantity. In order for you to fully commit to whatever this is, this life change, this business endeavour, this... These opportunities coming in. Something needs to be accepted so you can be on top of your game here. So that this, whatever this past situation is or some kind of resentment or bitterness or hurt, some kind of pain. It's like, don't suppress this. Don't try and ignore it. It's going to be following you around. Let's deal with it now. However you feel guided to do so. Don't let it stop you taking action. Move through the feelings. Maybe check the Libra reading if you feel guided to. Yeah, something needs to be let go of. It was a burden when, whatever this thing was, it was a burden when it was around. You wasn't feeling your best when it was around. And you're not feeling your best when it's not around, but you're thinking about the thing because you're sad it's not around, but it wasn't doing you good anyway. 
whether it's just person, place or thing. Some of you it's coming through like a relationship. It's like dropping this weight and then elevate the world. King of Ten of Wands, King of Wands, the world. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Literally, it's like... <sighs> it does feel like a lot but things will settle things are going to settle with time just follow your intuition feels like it's been very confusing a lot of confusion having to light your own way it's like self-sufficient some of you is shifting to like self-employed the sun keeps coming out i just kicked the whole deck off I, uh... sometimes i'll be carrying like 10 decks of cards down the stairs and i just in one hand like just kind of like resting them on my stomach like trying to carry them i think just one slip up guys just one slip of the wrist one flick of the wrist it's gonna be a shambles the hermit number nine find or be a mentor take a break from society a commitment to your spiritual growth Virgo energy. Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happy and successfully self-employed, cherishing time alone, 444 four, four on the clock. Life experience number 16. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. The mouse scrutiny number 20. Mouse, if I could see the world through your tiny eyes, maybe then I would know how to scrutinise. Every detail carries weight and true to its purpose has its perfect puzzle place to stop the three ring circus. There's always more to learn. One can always delve deeper and deeper and deeper. If your personal medicine is mouse, you may be fearful of life, but very well organised with a compartment for everything. Four, four, past. You should try to see a larger picture than the one staring you in the face. Develop largesse of spirit. Try to become aware of the great dance of life. Realise that even though you may be sitting in Los Angeles, there is also a New York a moon, a solar system, a galaxy, and an infinite universe. Jump high, little friend, you will glimpse the sacred mountain. If mouse is in your card spread, its medicine is telling you to scrutinise, look at yourself and others carefully. Maybe that big hunk of cheese is sitting on a trigger that will spring a deadly trap. Maybe the cat is in the pantry waiting for you. Maybe someone to whom you have delegated authority such as a doctor, a lawyer, or even a plumber, is not doing the job faithfully. The message is to see what is right before your eyes and to take action accordingly. Page 117, 118. The frog. The path has been cleared for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable, 2929. 
Moon and Cappy put aside emotional concerns, focus on achieving or increasing financial security. Let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that are no longer serving you. And negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening, moon in Scorpio, four, seven pass. We've got the waning moon. I was guided to the moon spells book today when I got up and there was something about the waning moon there. Great time to release, to break bad habits, to end relationships, three, 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 whatever it is. Oh. First page is opened on is wedding or partnership, love. Some of you guys are leaving a relationship or about to meet someone new or it's like cutting calls with a relationship that you moved on from a little while ago and about to meet somebody new feels like a lot of emotion even if someone physically left your life a long time ago it feels like they're actually like any residue from that situation is leaving your being there's a new energy a new beginning something new on the horizon but it feels like a lot to adjust to a lot to process Contrasting energies. I think it's the waning moon currently, right? Sometimes I really be knowing stuff, stuff. Sometimes I really be knowing stuff for sure, for sure. But it's like by saying, I think at the end, it's just like that thing of fear of making a mistake. It's like, oh, da, 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 I think, oh, isn't it? This little umbrella of doubt, this little energetic umbrella of doubt hovering over me, just to make sure in an apologetic way is that just say it with your chest know yourself and what if it's wrong and what maybe there is something about that making it like fear of making a mistake in love not wanting to change fear of change fear of starting again what if something goes wrong There's a bit about me winning, man. Yeah, yeah, I see that face. Where's me winning, me? Where's the winning, me? Page number five, fifty-two pass. We've got all the towels you could ever imagine on the TV. The moon is decreasing in size. As it journeys from full to dark, the waning moon is a time of decrease, release, letting go and completion. An excellent time to begin dieting, breaking bad habits, breaking off relationships or dealing with legal matters. Don't believe in dieting. It's, it's a lifestyle change. I believe in a lifestyle change. I don't believe in diets. Mm. 
Although currently in the short term view of things, I probably would have been making more progress if I had seen it as a diet in the short term than as the overwhelming thing of making a lifestyle change. Especially when you feel like when you tell yourself you're going to make a change for the rest of your life or you put something on it like that, like a time frame, which is a stupid idea because you just never know what's going to happen. All your ideas could change in a month. You could think it's best to eat one thing and then you eat something else. You could think it's best to be in one relationship and then realise it's not. It's like we're forever changing, we're forever evolving. The people around us are forever changing, evolving or not. But it's like... Just like whatever it is, just choosing to enjoy that. Taking a look at your health, at yourself. Oh, the kind of people, places and things you want around you. Are they contributing to you, to your vitality, to your happiness? It's like asking yourself the difficult questions. Because it's going to mean changing things that you probably aren't going to want to change. It's going to mean inconvenience. But it's like sit with that for a minute instead of running from that. Because there's an opportunity to transform something here. And cut calls with some kind of... Feels like a karmic situation. Planting seeds as well, if you're into growing herbs. Whether it's for yourself to consume, whether it's for beauty products. But just nurturing it, like growing things from the seed. The energy you put into that plant, you then consume. There's a different feeling when eating something that you've cared for. And maybe not with everything if it's not possible, but maybe just one little thing, like one herb or just one type of fruit or something that you could just experiment with if you're not used to growing things like that or just to really connect with plants in some way or a plant or I feel like they will have different energies, different messages, different lessons, different I swear I spent all day looking at the roses today, the most beautiful roses in the garden. And they are literally, I could just smell them for hours. They are so fragrant. It smells like rose water, like rose, like you know some flowers, they, they, although they're meant to smell, they just don't. But these, it's like, it smells like rose perfume. And they're just so beautiful. And I just got lost in them, just standing there taking pictures of them. And just all their different shapes. I'm gonna po I'll post some of them later, you can see. It's nothing, it's not um they're not like it's not anything spectacular, but just no, I don't say that it is spectacular. Nature is spectacular. Even if it was blurry, it's beautiful. I'm gonna post it and show everyone. And I'm actually obsessed. It was so lovely today, it was like a full, just like a moment of surrender. I felt like I just hit the boiling point and all of a sudden there was just this moment of bliss. I was just laying outside and it was like the most strongest breeze going by and the sun was hot. And the cat was laying underneath the rose bush just like in absolute surrender. And it was just like, I was just watching her like as she was breathing and her expanding with her breath. And it kind of went inside, it felt like a little meditation where I just tuned into her, her energy 
where I was at on the same snuggle vibration as the cat. <laughs> oh, it was heaven. And even that, it's like I really learned from her. It's like she didn't have a care in the world. Doesn't matter what the time is, there was noise going on and she was just snuggled down, snoozing away, not caring the world. Like what will be, will be. She just put me in a trance. A lovely little cat now. An excellent time to begin dieting, breaking bad habits, breaking off relationships or dealing with legal matters. Number 12, a girl or a snake? Page number 26, in the story, following the caterpillar's advice, Alice tasted some bites of mushroom, which made her shrink and then grow excessively. As a giant, her long neck extended far above the surrounding trees to the point that a pigeon took her for a snake. Though Alice tried to explain that despite the misleading appearances, she was actually a little girl, the pigeon stuck to its first impression and kept thinking that Alice was a serpent. Meaning, some people around you are mistaken about who you really are and genuinely take you for what you are not. In their defence, maybe you are not being clear enough about your goals and values which lead to misinterpretations. Be more explicit if you expect to be understood a little better. Key question, do you sometimes perhaps unconsciously allow people to have doubts and uncertainties about who you really are? And we've got number four, a drink me labeled bottle. You're facing a choice and wondering whether you should open the bottle and drink the potion. To make up your mind, carefully scrutinize every detail. Scrutinize. <laughs> and check that there is no mention of poison or danger. Once done, take action. One way or another, of course, there will be repercussions. But at the end of the day, trying and choosing are far better than stagnation and immobility. Key question. Have you taken enough time to measure the possible consequences of your actions? The sun, King of Swords, the sun. What I'm asking is, is there something you should to be concerned about? But it feels like what you're maybe doing is worrying about the consequences of the action that you haven't taken, but you're going to take that action anyway, regardless. Some of you, it's like you might be relocating or it's like it's, it's like that grey feather moment. It's not a yes, it's not a no, it's, it's a maybe. It's not a yes, it's not a no, it's yes, but in a minute. Yes, but when you've done this. Yes, but when you've moved here. Yes, but not in this, at this time. Yeah, but not around these people. Yeah, but don't tell this one. It's like, yeah, the dream is yours. Yeah, everything's going to be fine. But trust your gut. Have patience. 
there's many things coming into play here. Trust the bigger picture. It's that like things are being orchestrated on your behalf. Many different opportunities coming in, but it's going to mean letting go. Letting go of control, being open to adventure, being open to... Change of plans. It's quite a spontaneous energy. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. Throat chakra, setting boundaries. Sacral chakra, abundance. I am worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honouring and respecting myself. I honour myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. In between two worlds, Flamingo just come up on the TV. Could be receiving a lot of information. It does feel like a little overwhelming. Journaling may be helpful. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just like to offload those faults, taking the faults, the air, putting it on the paper, the earth, and then you can even light that, transmute it back to the air. Maybe writing out a to-do list, or maybe writing out a done list, if that's better for you in terms of just having a blank page and the goal is to fill that page up instead of seeing the list of all the things you've got to get through it's like you you add to an empty to a blank list which can because sometimes it's like when I have a list of all the things I need to do I get overwhelmed but it's like when I hold the intention of I'm going to choose to do things that help me to thrive mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, whatever the intention is for the day. I'm going to eat healthy today. So each time I eat a healthy something or I do something that really honours me, I write down what that thing is and I see that build up. And with each thing, it's like a boost. Instead of seeing, oh, OK, I've done that, but look how much more there is to go. Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, I just knocked two, honestly guys, I'm so discombobulated today. I just threw two decks all over the floor. I need a vacay, I need to take a break. My energies are just sporadic. I just, it's just been clumsy, but it's not even clumsy like that kind of clumsy, like, oh, I didn't even, it's like, guys, I, even the other day I got up, I picked up the glass of water off the side in the most like slowest, gracefulest way. Picked up the grace up a glass of water and it literally just flew just flew off the side of the unit and smashed like to the floor the glass didn't even smash it literally flew off dropped like two three feet to the floor the water went everywhere and it just kind of It was mad. I don't know what's going on with energy recently. It's like, I mean, I'm get, it's making me even making me feel away because it's like whatever I'm doing, I'm trying to be really careful because it feels like I just touch something so lightly and it just sh shifts. Number one, the cure. 52 on the clock. Oh, if I never see number 52 again for the rest of my life, it would be too soon. I'm telling you, this number's just been haunting me.
guys all my decks are falling is this <laughs> is this a sign i've got the the chakra decals all over the floor the moon cards are all over the floor this is slipping down oh and again all right all right I need to stop and pick it up now. I've had enough. I'll be up in a minute. He has great protection on the astral level and is on earth to be the precursor to a new world. His interests lie in the most diverse. Those. His interests lie in the most diverse issues. Extremely curious, balanced, and optimistic. He's always seeking the truth. He faces everything with optimism, is well-mannered and enjoys life best when his family is completely united. Blessed with a subtle spirituality and great astuteness, he is inventive and creative and inspired artist. His gifts in writing and speaking may lead to an involvement in politics. His work will be rewarded and recognised, planet Neptune. Reasons for invoking to start up and carry out difficult things. To become a warrior of spiritual fire. What, guys? 111 on the TV. 1 a.m. 111. 11 past 1 a.m. And there is the picture is like a silhouetted background with the most beautiful fire. Like, you know, it's just like sparkling with the. What do you call it? The ambers. Oh, I just want to turn it around and show you, but it's just changed now. <laughs> to the trees, the top of the trees, top of the mountain, top of the tree. To become a warrior of spiritual fire, page number 13. I'm going to leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you guys soon. Send you so much love.